Hey guys, I'm um, Dr. Daphne Lim, Board Certified Laser Dermatologist. Today we're going to be talking about the basics, right down to the basics. I'm going to summarize the A, B, C's of skincare, which is basically vitamin A, vitamin B, and vitamin C in regards to what they do um, for skin. So, we've been through this before, but let's recap on vitamin A. So, vitamin A is a retinoid, right? So, a retinoid is, um, can be divided into retinoic acid, which is the free form of vitamin A, which gets absorbed into your skin, or retinol. So, most of the prescription medications which dermatologists write are basically retinoic acid. So, they're absorbed into your skin, but the over-the-counter products are retinol. So that gets converted about two between anywhere between two to three percent gets converted into retinoic acid, which then uh, regenerates the skin. So what does vitamin A do? Vitamin A increases the turnover of your skin. So instead of your skin turning over every thirty days, it turns over between fourteen to twenty-one days. What that means is that you're going to have less wrinkles, um, and it also helps with pigmentation. Vitamin A also plumps up your skin. Uh, and um, it actually stimulates collagen. It also stimulates blood vessels, so that's why you can have this, what's, what we call as a retinoid glow, which is basically a nice, pink, healthy skin. The downside about vitamin A, however, is that it can cause irritancy, and that's where vitamin B comes in. We'll talk about that shortly. And the way to use uh, vitamin A is to start off with a low concentration first, gradually increasing it. If you do experience some irritation with vitamin A creams, you can easily mix it half-half, pea-sized drop, half-half, and then increase as tolerated. Use it every second night, um, and certainly avoid areas, sensitive areas like your folds around here and around your eyes. So that's vitamin A. So, what about vitamin B? Well, vitamin B is also called niacinamide. Um, this is the active form of vitamin B3. So what does it do? Well, first of all, it increases barrier function by increasing what's known as ceramides. If one increases barrier function, means you can actually tolerate um, other topicals such as vitamin A. So they all go hand in hand, you see, A, Bs, and Cs. That's why in our term or our language, we go with the A, B, Cs of skincare. So vitamin B increases barrier function. It means better tolerance to vitamin A. It also acts as an anti-inflammatory, so if you have uh, certain skin conditions like rosacea, sensitive skin, even with acne, it can act as an anti-inflammatory. And the great thing about vitamin B over vitamin A is that if you have these inflammatory skin conditions, if you're pregnant, vitamin B is absolutely safe compared to vitamin A, which you should, you should stop in pregnancy. Vitamin B also helps improve pigmentation and most recently, and I'm not joking with this, it's actually been shown to decrease um, the rate of certain forms of skin cancer. So it's just published in PubMed um, this year, and I'm not kidding, vitamin B3 does actually reduce, does not eliminate, but reduces solar dysplasia and um, skin cancer rates. So what do you look for in the ingredients for vitamin B? What we're looking for is 5% um, Niacinamide. So if you look at um, a concentration of between 5 and 10%, that's good. So like vitamin A, you start slow and you work upwards. So who can use it? Basically anyone. It's not limited unlike vitamin A, where it's excluded in pregnancy and breastfeeding. Vitamin B, anyone can use it. And like I said, start slow, work yourself up. So vitamin B has been proven to actually work. So guys, so we're now up to C, vitamin C. So the most common form of vitamin C is called L-ascorbic acid. That's the only form that's absorbed, um, and that's the most common form which we see in our prescription medications. Now, that's, this can be applied using a cream or serum, but often I combine that with um, laser, with something like um, Clear and Brilliant or 1927 Premier, because it actually increases the absorption of vitamin C. So what does it do? Well, vitamin C is like a Swiss army knife. It does a lot of things. It prevents or reduces UV damage because it's an antioxidant. That's the main thing. It's an anti-inflammatory. It stimulates collagen and it also reduces pigmentation. This translates to reduce pores, reduce fine lines, reduce wrinkles, and most importantly, reduce fine uh, pigmentation as well. Uh, so we use that often in melasma patients as well. 
uh, as it's an antioxidant plus it reduces um, pigmentation as well. So when do you use it? It makes sense to actually use a vitamin C uh, in the morning. Why? Because we're actually exposing our, our face or exposing our skin um, to the harsh UV radiation, pollutants and all the other things which can actually create free radicals which are bad for the skin. So it makes sense to actually use it in the morning and we can combine vitamin C with a sunscreen um, to use it as a day routine. But remember, because it stimulates collagen and reduces pigmentation, if your skin can tolerate it, you can get an extra dose of vitamin C at night. Um, so remember, it's often the combination of these creams that make that difference and it's often called synergy. So it's the A, B's and C's that give you a synergistic effect. Remember to start slow with ascorbic acid or vitamin C. Start at 10% and then go up to 15 and then 20%. Final tip for vitamin C is that because it's an antioxidant and scavengers free, free radicals, it gets degraded by light. So you keep it in a dark place, store it in a cool place like the fridge or in your drawer, um, and that makes sure that the ingredients are still active. So guys, remember that's the A, B's and C's of dermatology. That's basic dermatology. Hopefully this gives you the confidence when you're looking at skincare products, how to analyze it, and when someone tries to sell you things to actually go, hey, you know what? I actually know my A, B, C's and know what you actually looking and paying for. Um, all of these vitamins are actually um, form the basics of our skincare regime. Uh, the papers are robust, they've been with us for the last 20 years uh, and there's no marketing in regards to that because uh, it's all solid. So guys, that's the basics of um, skincare for you, summarized in seven minutes. If you like this channel, please subscribe. I do one educational channel or one educational segment uh, every week, ranging from topics like um, laser dermatology all the way up to Botox, fillers, skincare, and what's new and exciting in the world of um, dermatology. So um, I'll see you next week. And once again, thanks for putting up with me for another week. Bye, guys.